Hey guys, what's going on? Coleslaughter92 here, coming at you with another gameplay commentary, and today I'm bringing you some Black Ops 1. I've been, I've been wanting to put up Black Ops 1, but I just haven't had the opportunity to play it, and it's so hard to find lobbies in Black Ops 1, but here you go. I got you some, in my opinion, some very, very good Black Ops 1 footage. I did very well in this game and I thought you know what I'm gonna go ahead and put this up for y'all and here we are and today I want to discuss Black Ops 1 with y'all and I know I'm probably gonna have people who disagree with me that's fine um, everyone has their own opinions but just bear with me try to hear me out and I just want to express how I feel about this game and explain why it's my second favorite Call of Duty. Black Ops 1. Just... I'm gonna be honest, I love pretty much everything about this game, especially the guns. The guns are one of the biggest things in this game that I love. They, they had the gun balance perfect on here. The way that they had the sniper set up, I know the quick scoping community will disagree with me that that's okay. This this isn't for you. This game wasn't for you if you disagree with me. But for those snipers who do snipe on this game, I give you kudos cuz it is difficult. I've I love sniping on here. I'm just not the best at it. I'm okay. I'll try to get some sniping gameplay whenever I unlock the L119. And or whatever it's called on here, I'm not too sure. But this this sniper, as soon as I unlock it, y'all will see footage for it because it's one of my favorite snipers of all time. As y'all know, the intervention holds my heart, but this is a really good sniper as well. And what? some things that I don't agree with in this game. There's not much things. I don't agree with the perks. That's it actually that's the only thing I don't agree with the perk layout and also how long it takes to rank up it's it really takes years to rank up on this game but the perks the way they're set up it's just not right whenever one perk dominates all the others it just isn't right <laughs> right here I learned this trick in MW2 when I went back the stun grenade or flashbang grenade on the uh, claymore. I miss claymores. I love claymores. Compared to IEDs, I love them because you can actually see them. You don't have to worry about them being on a ceiling, on a wall, under water. Just claymores are so much better. And also the blast radius. They only blow up what crosses in front of the red lines. Well, whatever crosses through the red lines. And I love the pistols on here. They're the best secondaries out of any Call of Duty. This is the one that pistols were actually relevant in and where they weren't overpowered. Black Ops 2, pistols were two shot kills. And on here, they were they were used for dire need. Like, you don't see someone only running a pistol on this game. And also, something else I want to discuss about this game, about the perks, is the visual effects from the perks. How you get a certain outfit from your perks. Like, with Ghost, you get, you get a ghillie suit. I disagree with that entirely. You should not be given a ghillie suit if you just buy a perk. You should be given a ghillie suit by having a sniper rifle. If you have a class with a sniper rifle on it, that's a ghillie suit. You should only be a bush wookie if you have on a sniper rifle. That's the only way. But but that's the only issue I really have. And also another perk, last stand. Everybody has an issue with that. And that was the that was the most useful ammo crate I've ever gotten in a Call of Duty. That ammo crate actually comes in handy because I go on a nice streak right here. Um, but the perks should not give you any visual effects. You should not be given a change in your apparel because of a perk. 
that's one of the few things I disagree with this game about. But I do like how you're you're able to have how they give you a lethal, a tactical, and a pistol, and and I like that. Now you have to choose between a lethal, tactical, pistol, or a perk. I mean, true, that gives you an option to get more perks, but it also takes away your ability to 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 have those other chances to get those kills. Like sometimes you just need a flashbang, sometimes you need a grenade to flush out enemies, and sometimes you run out of ammo in your gun. And like y'all saw earlier, you're, you should be given that pistol just in case. And this gun I'm using, the Baby AK, the AK-74, I love it. This is my favorite gun on this game. It reminds me so much of the uh, of the MTAR with the range on it and uh, and the the rate of fire. And also something else about this game, LMGs were not overpowered; they were balanced. Nowadays, I can't even stand LMGs because of how OP they are. And also, the streaks on this game were so fun. It felt so rewarding to get an or not an orbital VSAT, but a Blackbird. It felt so rewarding to get an SR. And I, I don't know. It just makes me feel happy. The perks, the guns, the maps—they were all great. And. This video is coming to an end, and once again, I do appreciate y'all y'all watching and tuning in. And also, look out for tomorrow. I will be having a Last Man Standing from Black Ops 1. And thank you once again for watching, and this is Colesire92, and I'll see you guys later.